Thanks, Kathy. Um, yeah, what David just said is actually really key. Shifting our perspective on the spaces and landscape that we occupy. Uh, just to, many of you are here for the first time, to situate you on where you are right now. Um, you're at the Sanctuary for Independent Media, that's step one. Uh, we are more than just what you're seeing right now, and, and I can go into that in a second. But you also happen to be sitting in a place of extreme ecological importance and social importance. We are just a block from the Hudson River. Uh, we're actually at the tip of the estuary, so this is tidal wa water, up until this point, <laughs> right here. Uh, sturgeon have been spawning here for millennia. Um, it is an amazing and rich ecosystem, as all of them are in their own way. Uh, and it has, like many cities in this country, been uh, pretty devastated by industrial history. We're also right at the beginning of the Erie Canal, which was built exactly 200 years ago. And we are very much dealing with the reality of the legacy of industrial operations here on the shore. Uh, Steve can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the largest Superfund site in the nation. Is that true? Okay, so we share that for those of us who are from New York. It's also amazing that there are some people here who came from as far away as Maryland. Um, thank you for, <laughs> for coming. Um, so, the sanctuary is uh, one thing that we do here. We have this space, we have, a, well, this is a, an event unlike others we've had in the past, but we have many different kinds of events here. Musical performances, world music, uh, independent film screenings, um, speakers. We also have a community radio station where we amplify the voices of our community. Uh, shifting perspectives on what it means to be of the community and from this community in particular. So when I said this was extremely socially significant, this is actually um, one of the most economically disadvantages, disadvantaged neighborhoods in the state of New York. We're in Census Tract 404, which our beautiful new t-shirts that Brandon Miller um, conceived of uh, show. Uh, and it, it, there's some, some irony in the fact that 404 is also the error message that you get on the internet when you can't reach a website. Um, so the tagline that we have for the season is resources not found. This is a, a community that has beautiful, gorgeous um, industrial era, era architecture that has been long abandoned. And on this block, we have been working for 13 years now to transform these vacant spaces into beautiful and productive places. Up and down the block, we have community gardens uh, with a permaculture sort of approach. Azare in the back with her baby Ember helps lead them with her husband, Christian. Uh, Freedom Square, just north of here, we have outdoor community events in. Uh, and then there's a building just south of here um, that the Troy Community Land Bank has agreed to sell us to turn it into a permanent home for Nature Lab, <laughs> which is the program that brought us all here today. And we need to raise $100,000 to renovate this building into an occupiable space for this program. It's gonna have a science lab, allowing us to further scientific literacy in this community, a wide community, and also um, engage uh, firsthand with the science and technology of our own uh, ecosystem. Uh, so $100,000, in some other places is maybe not a big deal. For us, that's actually a really big lift. We've already raised just over half of it, but we have a long way to go, and we could use your help. Um, many of you have already helped. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, don't want that to discourage you from helping again. Uh, Kathy mentioned the art auction. Some of these artists are world-renowned. It's kind of incredible that <laughs> their pieces are just kind of sitting here, and uh, you have the opportunity to buy them at what's below market rate. Um, these are Guggenheim award-winning artists who've, who've been a part of this community, much as you guys are a part of this community now. Uh, and I hope that you'll consider making a donation before you, before you leave. Um, this is the artist rendering of the space that we'd like to build on this block. Uh, and I'll just kind of pass it around. Uh, come find me if you have a check that you can make out to Media Alliance. Uh, or cash, or uh, a credit card, we take it all. 
Um, and I hope you have a, a great day.